viewers, welcome again. Um, today I'm going to talk about a 2008 Japanese uh, drama film called Departures. Departures is a um, movie that won uh, Oscar in a foreign language category of 2008. Um, I didn't know that. I knew that after watching this movie and I thought it was well deserved. Um, this film is directed by Yujiro Takeda, uh, starring uh, Masahiro Motoki, uh, I'm very sorry if I'm pronouncing it very horribly wrong, and Rairo Hoshoki. Um, um, this movie is about uh, Jaigo, who is a lead character. Um, he basically is a thrives his uh, or back himself as a music uh, music instrument player. He plays cello in a um, band but uh, somehow this band got disbanded and he had to force himself uh, um, get away from from music uh, and uh, he has no other way uh, he ex he explained his wife that they have to move to the country uh, where uh, his deceased mother left him uh, a house and they have a their, his mother used to uh, run the cafe, um, a small cafe in the in that house. Um, he he wanted to uh, try that as well, uh, or try different thing as uh, as things uh, go in countryside. Uh, they leave leave Tokyo for countryside living. Um, his wife being supportive um, and uh, sees through um, the anxiety period. He was kind of nervous whether his wife would be uh, okay to move from Tokyo to countryside, uh, his wife uh, willingly accepts that and they move into countryside. In countryside there is very few opportunities uh, for uh, jobs and stuff like that but he suddenly finds out um, an opening and he went to interview and they offer him a job. He thought it was uh, a travel agency or uh, a tourist uh, sort of position but it turned out to be um, someone who uh, actually um, dress up uh, deceased um, in order to um, give give them a very uh, grand style uh, departure from from different uh, from this earth to the other um, other side of the life which uh, in in faith-based system or uh, in traditional Japanese system could be a different life or something um, so basically he kind of hesitates but uh, his boss insists uh, you know to try out the job he started to um, take a toll of the dead body and, and stuff like that because he's not used to it and he he's ashamed of the job so he doesn't share uh, the details of the job with, with his wife but um, all of a sudden he sees his boss how generally he basically prepares the dead body and this is family those gratitude about it, uh, how beautiful they've done the job and how gracefully and how respectfully they um, basically decorate the, the dead body. Um, and they look very, uh, you know, very in, in peace. And that's what makes him um, to accept his his role. And he actually started to like the uh, kind of work um, they do. And he he basically starts to get more, more kind of... Uh, um, in, he inter he gets into the job more as as uh, as a result, but shortly uh, the small village or uh, suburban areas uh, people um, this started to see him negative way because of uh, he had a huge career in, as as a musician in Tokyo and he started uh, doing this sort of odd job which is not respectable uh, according to the rural society. But slowly um, things turn out, and and we discover a backstory of of our main character Daigo's uh, uh, past. His father left um, um, when he was very young. His father left him a very emotional message, and they used to. Uh, he doesn't. He cannot stand his father anymore. But he had the memory of his father of uh, leaving him a stone. Uh, message of stone. If the stone texture is uh, very smooth, um, that means the person who is given the stone really likes him. 
um, his father used to give him a lot of stones and he remembers that and at the end of the day uh, or at the end of the story um, suddenly uh, his wife became um, too tired or ashamed of his job she left her uh, she left him um, and suddenly he comes she comes back as well when she was pregnant and and reconciliation happens and something um, started to settle down between uh, our main character and his wife and then um, all of a sudden there's news came that his father died and he doesn't want to go because he to him his father is not the ideal father um, his father hasn't done anything to raise him or, or his mother have uh, done all the hard work and all the all the stuff and he had such a hard um, uh, early um, childhood um, that he had to bear with lots of pressure lots of sadness and lots of um, he felt so isolated himself he didn't have a very good childhood due to his father uh, living living there. Um, that's why he doesn't want to go. But uh, his boss insists, and his wife insists, and suddenly he finds out, and he, uh, his father uh, he he can't even remember his father's face. But um, when when he find out a stone uh, on his father's grasp when his father was dying, um, his father was not a very significant figure. Um, he was a very hardworking man, according to someone um, who rented a room to his father, and and left some some stuff. But it's not that significant. It's the message that he left uh, on his hand with the stone. He was pretty sure his his son is going to come and see him, um, even if he's not alive. And and certain there are other other sub stories uh, as well. There's some stories of, of another female uh, woman, elderly woman, um, um, who has a huge bathhouse, and her hang angle too is uh, her uh, her son, who used to be a friend of Daigo. Anyway, um, I'm not going to expand too much. It's it's a fantastically, fantastically well told story in terms of writing, in terms of screenplay, in terms of imagery, in terms of uh, uh, you know the color. Um, the culture um, I've been blown away uh, and I've I was it was hilarious in, in uh, the most East Asian film that has a very good subtle dark comedy element in it it has uh, it has that so you be not be saddened all uh, all throughout the movie but it has a huge message that I find uh, very typical of uh, Eastern Asian movies especially Japanese and um, those areas movies um, this movie has been fantastic um, and it saddens me so much that I wiped basically uh, I wiped I, I did I really did it was fantastic it was moving and it was really emotional uh, the bond with, with the son and his father although they were disconnected for a long 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 time but there was a slight message that uh, that uh, kind of uh, nails it uh, in terms of motion and everything, and he then he then recognizes that's his father, and he he starts to um, send his father in a, in a respectful manner to the other world. That's the whole story of departure. I hope you guys uh, watch it if you're really into very good movies, very good drama. That has a bit of comedy but has a very good message as well as very emotional in terms of storytelling in terms of culture in terms of rural uh, japanese uh, landscape and beautiful music uh, you should watch it as as far as acting is concerned it's a fantastically acted movie as well fantastically grounded and directed film i cannot recommend it any higher um, please watch it and uh, leave us uh, your comment as well if you have already watched it um, what is your thought and if you haven't please uh, watch it and come back and please comment here and if you like this review um, please stay connected i'm hoping to give uh, more reviews uh, in, in forthcoming uh, future um, to get get back with some some of the movies that sh people should watch more um, thank you thank you for watching Thank you.